So now let us discuss first five verses that is text 1 to 5. Now in text 1 to 5, if you see the text 1, it says, Sutta Goswami was fully satisfied by the perfect questions of Brahmanas, thanked them and attempted them to reply. So, he, he is very thankful, very grateful to the sages for asking this question. And this kind of theme will be repeated several times in Srimad Bhagavatam, where the speaker is very grateful for being given a chance to speak about the narrations of the Lord. And after thanking them and attempting to reply, the first thing which he does, that is text 2 and 3, he offers obeisances to spiritual master. And the spiritual master, he offers obeisances, his spiritual master, Srila Shukadev Goswami. Now please remember, this is the, this is the scene where Bhagavatam will be repeated second time after Shukadev Goswami has already spoken to Parikshit Maharaj. So when Shukadev Goswami spoke to Parikshit Maharaj, Sutta Goswami was present there. And because Sutta Goswami has heard from Shukadev Goswami, Shukadev Goswami automatically is the spiritual master. So he offers obeisances. Now when he offers obeisances to Shukadev Goswami, we can see Okay, we will discuss this, but first we will mention this text 4. You can look at text 4. It says, Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narottam. This is the verse we recite before every Bhagavatam recitation. And Prabhupada writes here, Srila Sutta Goswami shows the way of chanting the Puranas. This is mentioned in purport of text 4. This may be followed by persons who aspire to be the preachers of Vedic literatures and Puranas. Srimad Bhagavatam is a spotless Puran. So by reciting this verse, Sutta Goswami is setting a standard for reciting Srimad Bhagavatam and other Puranas. This verse should be recited before that. And the translation says of text 4, Before reciting this Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the very means of conquest, so the word mentioned is Tato Jayam Udhirayet. Now if you see word to word meaning, Jayam means all that is meant for conquering. And what we have to conquer, we have to conquer out of this vast ocean of material existence. Conquer our birth and death. Conquer over the miseries of material world. And it says Tato Jayam Udhirayet. This Srimad Bhagavatam is the very means of conquest. Jayam, which make you conquer, which give you victory. And before reciting that, Sutta Goswami says, one should offer respectful obeisances unto four things. The four personalities are mentioned. First is personality of Godhead, Narayan. Narayanam Namaskrityam. Then it says unto Nar Narayan Rishi. And then Nar Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being, and then unto Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning. We are dealing with this education, the highest education. So they offer to Mother Saraswati. And then unto Srila Vyasadev. Devim Saraswatim Vyasam. Who is the author? So unto personality of God and Narayan. Nar Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being, goddess of learning, and to the author. And in text 5, he appreciates the audience for asking such exalted questions. Now what is the nature of these questions? Let us look at this now.
टेक्स्ट फाइव द क्वेश्चन आर ग्लोरीफाइड हाउ ही सेस मुनया साधु पृष्ठो हम भवत भीर लोक मंगलम फर्स्ट थिंग इज लोक मंगलम द क्वेश्चन विच यू हैव आस्ट आर फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ ऑल द वर्ल्ड एंड वाई यत्कृत कृष्ण सम प्रश्नो यू कैन लुक इन द वर्ड टू वर्ड मीनिंग कृत मेड कृष्ण सम प्रश्न क्वेश्चन विच रिलेट टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण डायरेक्टली कृष्णाज नेम इज मैं डायरेक्ट इंडिकेटिंग टू वर्ड सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एट श्री कृष्ण सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज बिकॉज दे रिलेट टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण बिकॉज इफ यू रिमेंबर द थर्ड क्वेश्चन वॉज वाई श्री कृष्ण अपियर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन वॉज अबाउट द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण Even the last question talks about Krishna's disappearance and then where religious principles have taken shelter. So it's all about Krishna, and then he says, "Ye na atma supersedati," and because they relate to Lord Krishna, they are of welfare to the whole world, Lok Mangalam, and not only that, they are completely satisfying to the self. Now please note this point that one of the question which was asked was what is the essence of all scriptures by which the self will be satisfied that was the second question and here sutta goswami is telling your question itself is satisfying to the self what to talk about the answer question itself if somebody makes such inquiries in he is interested to know what is the absolute and ultimate good he wants to know the essence of all scriptures he wants to know everything about lord krishna that is a subject matter which gives him interest such questions only are satisfying to the self what to talk of the answers they are of the real welfare to the whole world because they relate to lord krishna such is the nature of these questions so he glorifies your questions are glorious so he glorifies the audience also And as far as sex two and three, which talks about glorifying the spiritual master, which for Shri Shri Sutta Goswami is Shri La Shukdev Goswami. Let us see how he glorifies Shukdev Goswami. He says in text two, you can open the translation. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto that great sage who can enter the hearts of all. When he went away to take up the renounced order of life, leaving home without undergoing reformation by sacred thread or ceremonies observed by higher castes, his father Vyasadev, fearing separation from him, cried out, "O oh my son, only the trees which were absorbed in the same feelings of separation." echoed in response to the begrieved father now first thing is now when you have to glorify a person you talk about his purity then you talk about his ability to effect others so if somebody can really affect somebody's heart by his writings by his speech can reach to the deepest core of his heart that is another empowered ability so purity his personal purity of his character of his spiritual status his ability to affect others heart and purity and ability this is the highest thing plus of if he has a very good social status that adds to the to his value and then with all this if he had made a very exalted contribution to society <coughs> so if somebody has these four things this is how you can glorify this look at his contribution look at his social status his family status look at his personal purity and how by his contribution he is ability to affect others heart 
and we will see all these points are present in Shukadev Goswami as per the glorification given by Suta Goswami. He says that Shukadev Goswami's purity. Now, who is talking about? Who is talking here? Suta Goswami. The Suta Goswami is telling that Shukadev Goswami's purity is beyond all rituals. No ritual is required. But therefore, if the second verse is telling, he took to renounced order without undergoing the reformation, sacred thread ceremony, which is not the usual tradition. First one should undergo all the samskaras or purificatory rites, and then only one can enter the renounced order. But he directly, at a very young age, purity beyond rituals. And then, his ability to affect others' hearts. So that is also mentioned in text 2. It says, I offer my obeisance to Shukadeva Goswami who can enter the hearts of all. So that enter the hearts of all. So this is also mentioned in text 2. And this is also mentioned in text 2. Enter the hearts of all. And then it is mentioned when his father was calling out that, oh my son, where are you going? It appears that there was an echo as if even the trees were crying out in separation. So that's like symbolic that even trees were affected by his presence. Ability to affect others' hearts. It's written in the translation, Indeed, only the trees which were absorbed in the same feelings of separation echoed. So it was appearing that Shukadeva Goswami is affecting the heart of each and every living entity by his presence. And then this will also be seen later on when he speaks to the sages, all sitting with Parikshit Maharaj. His presentation of Bhagavatam could affect all the sages present there. So now let us see what is in text 3. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the spiritual master of all sages, the son of Vyasadev. So what is mentioned? The son of Vyasadev. So two things are mentioned. Spiritual master of all sages. That is another social status. If somebody is a leader of very, very exalted personalities. And if somebody is a son of a very exalted personality, that is also exalted social status. So it is said son of Vyasadev. So this is all mentioned in text 3. So he says, Let me offer my obeisances unto Shukadev Goswami, the spiritual master of all sages, the son of Vyasadev, who out of his great compassion for those gross materialists. So what now what is mentioned? His contribution. What did he do? Out of great compassion for the gross materialists who struggle to cross over the darkest regions of material existence. So when we say society, he is contributing to whom? To the gross materialists who are struggling. For their benefit, what is he doing? He spoke this most confidential supplement to the cream of Vedic knowledge, Srimad Bhagavatam. So he gave Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the most confidential supplement to the cream of Vedic knowledge, the best, the essence. Because the question was asked, what is the essence? So Suta Goswami is telling, Shukadev Goswami gave the essence. He gave the supplement to the cream of Vedic knowledge, the cream of cream, the essence of essence. And that also he gave after having personally assimilated. So the last line of translation says, after personally assimilated. So not just theoretical knowledge, he fully absorbed, understood, digested, assimilated, realized, and then he is speaking. So it's becoming even more wonderful, more sweeter, more appealing to the audience. And that is the exalted contribution to society. So like this, these four points, Suta Goswami is glorifying the position of Shukadev Goswami. So he spoke this with full realization 
and out of compassion two characteristics were there full realization and compassion and therefore this Srimad Bhagavatam becomes very special and of course Prabhupada says this is not only for those gross materialists but it is also a literature for the highly exalted liberated souls as it was discussed in first chapter text 2 Nirmat Saranam for the pure souls also this is the literature and for gross materialists also this is the literature Srimad Bhagavatam and this way, Suta Goswami, glorifying Shukadev Goswami, glorifying the four personalities, Supreme Lord Narayan, Nar Narayan Rishi, and uh, Mother Saraswati and Vyasadev, and acknowledging the audience, he ends the first five verses, and after that, he goes to the next section, that is text 6 to text 29. Hare Krishna.